Well, a former Saks Fifth Avenue shoe salesman, now one of the best Bantamweights on the planet. Here is the funk master, Aljamain Sterling, representing the Sarah Longo fight team in New York State. And he's been in there with some of the elites in the division. Aljamain Sterling very much has championship aspirations. He is tough. He is creative. Outstanding cardio. Scrambles with the best of them. Brazilian jiu-jitsu purple belt. And uses the length well on the feet. We'll see what Aljo can do here tonight in what is another big top 10 type of situation. This guy has nasty arm bars and leg locks. It is his specialty. And if he gets a hold of a limb, you either tap or it snaps. So here he is, the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, trying to stay undefeated here tonight. And this is a very entertaining striker to watch. He has a good understanding of distance and movement, faints very well, switches stances constantly on the feet. And I think maybe more than all of the technical prowess and all of the skills, his ability to shine when the spotlight gets brighter. This is a big game player, Sugar Sean O'Malley. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. You never know what he's gonna do. His striking is world-class, his ground game is excellent, and he mixes them up very well. apart with some differences in height and a similar reach here's bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon dan mergliata and now this is the moment ufc fans around the world have been waiting for from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record now. 16 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Uniondale, New York, Algermain Punkmaster Sterling. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. Ten wins, no losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley. All right, Grinthin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Let's and go here we go. Well, Sean O'Malley has been a notorious fast starter in the UFC thus far. It is something his corner has prioritized once again here tonight. Let's see if O'Malley can lead the dance and dictate the pace here. Oh, that's a nice straight right there, Joe, by Sean O'Malley. All right, the first round is underway here. You gotta watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches can do damage from both sides. And even when fighters know what's coming, oftentimes they are unable to stop. Into that, a nice right hand. shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Connects with the punch there. Oh, 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Straight right hand, no good. And he switches to soccer. Good combination so far from both men. Head kick. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Sterling. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. That one hurt. Oh, beautiful jab there by Sterling. Three minutes remain in the round. Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh, Ooh, nice hook land. Hard that took. Oh, how good is that jab by Sean O'Malley? Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but I'm able to land. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's going for a choke. He's got the Japanese necktie locked in. That's a deep choke. And this might just be a matter of time. He secures full mount. Look at this. He's out of it. Beautifully executed sweep. Neither fighter's really doing anything. Now he's inside control. And now he's in full mount. He hip escapes from the full mount. Sterling's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh! Nice punch there by O'Malley. Just misses with the jab. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. He's got good accuracy on that jab. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Good punch. <laughs> Sterling gets hit with a kick. That looked like it hurt you. So we cross the 37 mark in our opening round. Good straight hand there by Oman. The kick gets through. This is with the jab. Sterling gets caught by the inside leg, kick a few more, and that'll leave him off. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. Five minutes in the books. Here's a body kick. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. And we cover. Excellent job that round. Every punch you throw seems to be landing. I want you to keep that going. Don't get it. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Second round underway. All right, so here we go. Second round is underway. Pretty good first round, Joe. Crowd seemed to like it. Not the greatest round you'll ever see, but good high-level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. We'll see, though, here in round two if there is less of a feeling out process and more of an uptick in the aggression here. Round two underway. 
Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, effective strike there by Sterling. Good shot. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Big punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. See the total strikes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Absolutely. One, two. Slips the punch nicely there. Sterling's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swelling. He slips to avoid the right. Huge uppercut misses. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Spinning back fist. Well, you're playing with fire there. He left the body wide open there, and he has shown an increased vulnerability to that strike, Joe, by leaning in, almost moving into the strike to set up his own offense. We'll see if he lowers that guard, lowers those elbows to prevent further damage. Huge leg kick. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Sterling gets up, and somewhat surprisingly, despite having a dominant position on the ground, he wants to take this fight back to the feet. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. How about that shin? Powerful right leg kick. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Switching stances here. Try to establish that jab. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just misses with the right. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. Throwing that jab, no good. Huge block there. Look at that. 90 seconds remain in the round. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. And he connects with the punch. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. Big power shot there. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center. Oh, the oh. left. This could be it. Look at this, take down. In the half guard. Back to his feet again, amazing. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Effective strike there by Sean O'Malley. Slightly deflected. And there he swung with a haymaker. 15 seconds to go. Yeah, and here he goes again. Sterling gets the takedown. Now let's see if he chooses to pass here, Joe. He passes to half guard. And the horn right. sounds on round two. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. 
And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very impressive striking going on in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. You ready? You ready? Third Let's round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Caught him with a punch. Whoa! He's hurt here. Oh, he's getting tapped. Spinning back fist. Big body shot. shot there, too. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Continuing to work the body to great effect. One, two there by Stewart. Good punch. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Kick to the body by Sean O'Malley. Tagged him. And he's looking for that left. How about that chin? Well, Joe, I'm not sure how many more of these straight punches he can eat. Leaving that head wide open. He's been susceptible to that strike all night long. And I know he has confidence in his chin, but you gotta be careful. He's become a sitting duck here. And he connects there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Wow! He's in big trouble. Position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. And he goes to the knee to the body. He's hurt to the body. Oh, straight right. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. Nice punch by Sterling. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Good defense there. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. He landed that punch twice. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Huge uppercut misses. Nice body shot. That is a huge bruise on his body, Joe. You gotta think that's gonna impact his mobility a little bit. Oh! Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Oh, tagged him. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Right hand upstairs. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. He's mixing things up really well, too, from the hands to the kicks to switching stances. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it, right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Wow! Big oh, uppercut. uppercut landed for him. Really threw it. Oh! Wow! Get 
gets up, he is back on the feet here. Oh! That one hurt. KO just as the round was ending. Wow, so how about that? Just before the end of the round, he lands an absolutely huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in furiously to stop the fight. How about it? He catches the other guy just at the end of the round. Maybe his opponent was looking forward to the stool in the next round. Now he won't see it. What a result here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar The name Sugar Sean O'Malley, who gets his hand raised inside the octagon yet again here tonight. He had some doubters coming into this matchup, but again, Sugar Sean O'Malley finds a way to mute the naysayers. He has set himself up for a massive fight coming up next.